the fuel, ignition, electrical and lubrication systems of FICT ram fuel injection outboards. Topics include component identification and operation of FICT ram fuel injectors, an introduction to the engine management system, and troubleshooting with the computer diagnostic software. Evinrude outboards with FICT ram injection represent the greatest two-stroke innovation since the invention of the outboard. As we saw in Module 3, conventional two-stroke outboards must get rid of exhaust and bring in a fresh charge of fuel and air every time the piston is down. As a result, the intake and exhaust ports are open at the same time, and some of the incoming air-fuel mix escapes through the exhaust ports without ever being burned. FICT ram injection solves this problem by distributing the fuel after all the ports are closed. This prevents raw fuel from escaping, which reduces hydrocarbon emissions by up to 88% and increases fuel economy as much as 35%. Because of this, FICT models offer the performance, lightweight and quick throttle response of a two-stroke, combined with the fuel economy and low emissions of a four-stroke outboard. The heart of the FICT ram injection system is the FICT ram fuel injector, a combination high-pressure pump and injector nozzle. The injectors are mounted directly on the cylinder head, eliminating the high-pressure lines used by most injection systems. This simplifies the fuel distribution system, resulting in a smoother, quieter, more reliable outboard. Let's take a close look at how the FICT ram injector works. The injector coil assembly is a powerful electromagnet just before a cylinder is ready to fire, the engine management module, or EMM, switches on the injector coil assembly. This creates a strong magnetic field in the housing. The magnetic force rapidly moves the injector armature toward the nozzle. The armature is hollow and moves easily through the fuel until it contacts the ball valve. As the ball valve seals, the armature begins to act as a piston pressurizing the fuel in the injector nozzle. This pressure forces the poppet valve open, spraying fuel into the cylinder under high pressure. A spring returns the armature to its resting position, refilling the injector with fuel for the next firing. This high pressure has an important benefit. It atomizes the fuel into fine droplets, so it burns efficiently and completely. The amount of fuel delivered is determined by the duration of the electrical pulse. A longer pulse provides more fuel from the injector. FICT ram injection models have a fuel handling system much different from carbureted models. A lift pump draws fuel from the boat tank and pumps it to an engine-mounted fuel filter. This filter removes any debris in the fuel and traps any water that might be present. A sensor in the filter alerts the EMM if water accumulates in the filter. The fuel then moves to the vapor separator, a water-cooled fuel reservoir that supplies fuel to the electric circulation pump. This pump distributes it to the fuel rails and injectors. Some of the fuel flows through the injector, which helps to cool the coil assembly. This warm fuel returns to the vapor separator, which contains a pressure regulator to maintain proper pressure in the fuel lines. Water passages in the vapor separator cool the incoming fuel before it is pumped back to the injectors. Any excess vapor in the separator is vented to the intake manifold and burned. FICT ram injection models have a computerized system that monitors and controls all engine functions. The EMM is the heart of the engine management system. It adapts the engine's performance to match its operating environment. The EMM also monitors the engine for any operating problems and alerts the operator through the system check gauge. If necessary, it protects the engine from damage by activating the slow operating mode. It also stores a service code in its memory to help the service technician find the problem. FICT ram injection models use stratified combustion to control emissions when running at slow speeds. This means the mixture in the combustion chamber is layered or stratified. 
This is accomplished by controlling the spark and fuel timing differently at low speeds. During stratified combustion, a small cone of fuel is injected into the cylinder under high pressure when the piston is near the top of its stroke. The high pressure causes the fuel to atomize as it leaves the injector and mix with the air around the spark plug. The EMM fires the spark plug repeatedly, beginning before the fuel arrives at the spark plug and lasting through the combustion event. The multiple sparks ensure that the fuel ignites during every cycle. As engine speed increases, the EMM smoothly transitions to the homogeneous combustion mode, one cylinder at a time, by manipulating fuel spray injection and ignition timing. This creates a smooth, seamless transition from low to high speed. In the homogeneous mode, fuel is sprayed into the cylinder much earlier, allowing a complete mixing of fuel and air in the combustion chamber. This complete mixing at higher engine speeds allows the engine to achieve maximum horsepower while consuming considerably less fuel than a carbureted two-stroke model. The FICT ram injection engine uses a unique lubrication system. An oil pump, driven by crankcase pulses, supplies oil under pressure to an oil injector, a modified version of the FICT fuel injector. From there, an oil manifold delivers the oil through lines to each cylinder where it is injected through a hole in the cylinder wall. The EMM controls oiling by monitoring throttle position and engine speed to determine the engine's load. It then calculates how often to activate the oil injector to provide proper lubrication. This injects a precise amount of oil to each cylinder. Because FICT ram injection models do not pass fuel through the crankcase, the fuel does not wash the oil off the engine's internal parts. This means the engine consumes significantly less oil, while still safely lubricating all internal parts. In addition to lubricating the cylinders and bearings, the lubrication system adds a small amount of oil to the fuel system to reduce carbon buildup on the fuel injector nozzles. Evinrude Ficht Ram Injection Oil is recommended for these models. It has special additives that provide the cleaning power a direct injection outboard needs for longer life. Computer software greatly simplifies Ficht Ram Injection diagnostics. The program does much more than the scan tools used to service other injection systems. Using a handheld Personal Digital Assistant, or PDA, and the Bombardier Diagnostic Software, the technician is guided through the troubleshooting procedure. To use the software, remove the protective cover and the diagnostic connector. Install the diagnostic interface cable. Connect the modem adapter cable to the other end of the interface cable. Connect the adapter cable to the PDA. Turn the ignition key to the on position, power up the PDA. PDAs use touchscreen technology. Simply touch the screen with the wand to activate the system. Avoid using pen and pencil tips or other sharp objects which may damage the screen. Also, avoid touching the screen when you have gas, oil, or solvents on your hands. Touch the appropriate icon to begin using the EMM diagnostic tools. Follow the instructions supplied with the software. The software allows you to view the engine status to see if anything is wrong. Any service codes are displayed, along with an explanation of the code. The system records stored codes, which can be triggered by an intermittent problem. It records when these codes happened, and saves them until the memory is reset. The software also displays active codes, which indicate problems that exist right here and now. By using the codes and the service manual, you can troubleshoot and test engine functions and quickly isolate the problem. This can save a lot of time in completing the repair and getting your customer back on the water. Using the software, you can perform static tests, such as firing fuel injectors, the oil injector, or ignition coils, one at a time. <laughs> You can also perform dynamic tests while the engine is running. 
selectively dropping a cylinder to help isolate problems, or increasing or reducing fuel flow to one or all injectors. You can monitor all engine mounted switches and sensors, check electrical system voltages, and examine the timing and pulse duration of both the fuel injectors and spark. The PDA is used to perform certain service procedures, such as changing an injector or restarting the break-in mode for a rebuilt powerhead. The software has other features that make it a valuable tool. You can call up an RPM profile to examine how the engine has been used. You can also print out an engine report that includes all the information available through the software. Engine model and serial number, operating hours, service codes, RPM profile, and more. This is a powerful troubleshooting tool that makes the technician's job much easier and faster.